Batista 20 and Matthew Montoya 16 was caught by the police department as they were attempting to dump their mother's body in the dumpster. Victor and Matthew severed their mother's head and removed her arms and hands from her body. During the interrogation, Victor and Matthew told the police department that they had gotten the idea to murder their mother after watching the mobster television show The Sopranos. Television programs are all about showing reality without a censorship. They always are depicting violence and uh, sexual content. Unfortunately, our children are watching these shows and they begin to, to copycat what they see. Good morning, everyone. I am Antoinette Smith and I am here today to talk to you about the violent content on television. And I am encouraging you all to monitor what your children are watching on television and also to try to limit the amount of television that your children are intaking daily. The purpose of today, I will go over the negative influence children have with the television, how media contributes to behavioral changes, and the violence that's depicted in children's television shows. I will be doing this lecture in a, a for, informal method uh, with the aid of a slideshow presentation and, of course, participation from you, the audience. Just take into, into consideration that the information I'm giving to you all today has not been tested with any type of comprehensive exams. However, the information I'm giving you, you will recognize uh, all the impact on it just out of life experiences. Because it's an informal setting, the general rules are, you know, respect others' statements or opinions. And if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. However, just keep them related to the question at hand. Now, since you know who I am, let's move on to the next topic. The Children's Scholastic Dictionary defines influence as the means to have an effect on someone or something. And violence is the combination of physical force and strength to cause harm. Unfortunately, when we are uh, engaging in uh, television shows with our children, especially cartoons, we do not put these two terms together as violence or influence when they're watching a cartoon show, and which we should. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, the media plays an extensive role in our children's daily lives and activities. Um, a statistics show that aggressive behavior, desensitization to violence, nightmares, and fears of being harmed. All our kids get all of this out of watching violent television shows that depicts anger, that depicts uh, killings, murders. They, they all get this out of watching television shows. The two main behavioral changes are uh, fear of being harmed and aggressiveness if your children are watching violent TV shows. Okay. Now that we have discussed the behavioral changes and the definitions of influence and violence, let's move on to the television depictions on uh, children. According also to the American Academy of Pediatrics, our children spend on average a day of four hours watching television. Okay. That will be about uh, 20 hours a day with uh, acts of cartoons. Um, and also with the research from the American Academy of Pediatrics, it stated that cartoons have the most violent acts than any show on television. They act at least 20 acts per hour. That's 80 acts per hour if you let your children watch uh, television. By the time your children become 16 years old, they will have watched 200,000 acts of violence and 16,000 stimulated murders. That is an alarming uh, uh, you know, rate for children, especially watching cartoons, Spongebob, That's So Raven, That's Alarming. And we, as parents, we definitely need to start watching what our children are watching and monitoring the television shows. Can anyone in here name a cartoon that their children is watching? Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. Okay. With that, and with everyone here today, as well as myself, I encourage each and every one of you to go home today, look at a cartoon television show with your child, and also count 
the number of violent acts that you see on that television. And when you're done, ask yourself, should your child be watching the television show and also start pulling them away from watching the television show since you have noticed yourself the amount of violent content that they intake every single day. As parents, as well as myself, just remember, we need to start minimizing the impact that they take in from television. Attracting them to other productive activities. Outside play is very well encouraged just to get them away from that television. Um, family time, board games, exercising, reading, anything that can take them away from that television. Monitoring the ratings of various programs. We never take in consideration because we consider it's a cartoon. So we say, oh, it's okay, it's a cartoon. We need to start monitoring even the cartoon shows. Explain the difference between real life and fairy tale. As I stated in the opening, they got the idea from watching a television show. They have no idea what's real and what's fairy tale in, in reality. <laughs> Today we discussed the definition of influence and violence, how the media contributes to behavioral changes, we illustrated the stats on children's television programs, and how we as parents can uh, maximize the amount of the negative impact that our children are encountering every day watching television. I hope you all have taken what I have given you today. Go home. I, I really encourage you all to go home. Watch what your children are watching on television. Start monitoring. And also start pulling them away from the television and getting them involved in other activities. I hope you have taken this in, uh, in consideration. Thank you all for coming out today and have a good evening.